In this video, we're going to enable speaker track diagnostics to analyze speaker track issues. Open the command line to the endpoint with an SSH client such as PuTTY. Run the command x command cameras speaker track diagnostics start. To disable it, just run the same command but stop at the end. This can also be done on the Touch 10 by going to Settings, Issues and Diagnostics, and enabling speaker track diagnostics. To disable the diagnostics, just use the same button. Once the diagnostic is enabled, we need to use the screen in the room to look at the symptoms of the tracking issues, if any are there. Starting with the information displayed at the top, from left to right, we can look at camera, distance, and face detection. Camera showing L or R means that the left or right camera is doing the tracking. Distance indicates the calculated distance from the camera lens to the face being tracked, and face detections indicates that the face tracking detected faces on the left and right sides. A red rectangle indicates that the face tracking algorithm detected a face, and if a voice is detected, that rectangle will turn green to indicate that that person is speaking. The information at the bottom is mostly read in percentages. From left to right, F indicates the detected local voice. This should be close to 100. T means non-noise. This should be close to 100. Zero means that a lot of noise has been picked up. E indicates far end noise. In a call, if the far end side is speaking, tracking is disabled. C indicates camera switching. A high number means that there's a lot of camera switching. U means ultrasound. This number should be low since ultrasound may interfere with tracking. You may see this number go up when Cisco proximity is in use. N means silence. 100% means that no audio is picked up. And S is the number of samples from the sound algorithm. This should be somewhere between 177 and 182. If you're working with TAC, it would be helpful if you could take a picture or video of the screen while the speaker track diagnostics are running. Using this information, you should be able to find problems with the environment, the lighting, the room, the hardware, or possibly the speaker track algorithm itself. That's all there is to enabling speaker track diagnostics. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.